Deep beneath the earth, hidden under layers of rock and time, lie some of the most coveted stones in the world. Yes, diamonds. But how do they actually get there? And how do we pull them out? Diamond mining isn't just digging. It's explosive, massive, and often dangerous work. Let's go beneath the surface, literally, to see how diamonds are found, mined, and brought to light. Where diamonds are formed. Most diamonds found today formed over a billion years ago. They originate more than 150 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface, in the mantle, where extreme pressure and temperature force carbon atoms to crystallize into diamond. But they don't just sit there. They're carried to the surface by rare volcanic eruptions through pipes of magma called kimberlite pipes. These eruptions are incredibly violent but fast, shooting diamonds upwards through cracks in the Earth before solidifying. Most of the diamond deposits mined today are found in or around these ancient kimberlite pipes. How we find them Finding diamonds isn't as easy as digging randomly. Geologists start by studying satellite images and rock samples. They look for signs of ancient volcanic activity. Once a possible site is identified, exploratory drilling is done to pull up core samples from deep below. If those cores show the right minerals, like garnet or olivine, it's a sign diamonds may be nearby. Then come bulk samples, where tons of material are taken to see how many diamonds can be recovered per ton. If enough are found, only then does the real digging begin. Open Pit Mining If diamonds are near the surface, open pit mining is used. A giant hole is dug using massive trucks and excavators. Step by step, layer by layer, the surface is removed in terraces. The rock is transported to a processing plant where it's crushed and sorted. This kind of mine can span kilometers across and hundreds of meters deep. It's less dangerous than underground mining, but still complex and costly. Many famous diamond mines, like the Argyle Mine in Australia, began as open pits. Underground Mining When diamonds lie deep underground, miners go below. Vertical shafts are drilled down to the kimberlite pipe. Then horizontal tunnels, or drifts, are dug to follow the diamond-bearing rock. Miners blast the rock with explosives and haul it out. It's dark, hot, and risky work requiring constant safety monitoring. And to protect workers, ventilation systems, reinforced tunnels, and precise drilling are essential. The extracted rock is then transported to the surface for processing. Alluvial mining and marine mining. Not all diamonds stay in the pipe. Over time, water, wind, and erosion can carry diamonds away from the volcanoes. These diamonds settle in riverbeds, beaches, or even the ocean floor. This is where alluvial mining comes in. Miners sift through gravel and sand using pans, dredges, or larger mechanical equipment. In marine mining, specialized ships suck up seabed sediment, which is processed on board to extract diamonds. Some of the richest diamond deposits in Namibia are found in the Atlantic Ocean using this method. How Diamonds Are Separated Now let's talk about how diamonds are separated. After mining, raw rock must be processed to find the diamonds. The ore is broken down by crushing machines into smaller pieces. Heavy liquid separation, X-ray scanners, and grease belts are used to spot and isolate diamonds. Because diamonds repel water and stick to grease while other minerals don't, grease belts help sort them out. X-ray luminescence machines can detect diamonds because they glow under certain light wavelengths. Once extracted, diamonds are sorted by size, shape, and quality. So, that little sparkling stone in a rin traveled billions of years and thousands of kilometers to get there. From deep earth pressure to volcanic eruption, from satellite scans to ocean dredging, every diamond is a survivor.